We're gonna check out the CJ Synchra Nano Pump, which I'm going to use in the Pico tank. You don't gain anything from it. The head pressure is still the same. This Pico is not an all-in-one. It's designed to have a sump. How's it going, guys? New viewers, welcome. Hope everybody's doing great today. I've been driving all over and trying to find parts for the Pico and headed to Home Depot, guys, because I need a fitting for the return pump and hose that goes into the Pico tank. Fittings and online. And the problem I'm having is that the fittings that are for one inch are outside diameter. The hole should have been a little bit bigger. I'm just struggling with this half inch opening up in the Pico. It should have been one and a quarter inch and three quarter inch for a half inch and one inch fitting. Johnny drilled the hole and he did what he was supposed to, but I gave him the measurement of a half inch. So anyway, I was able to find an old RIO pump fitting which worked in the overflow. The fittings are half inch inside diameter. And now I'm going to Home Depot and see if I can find something that'll fit inside that half inch hole. If I don't kill myself on the way. All right, I'm here guys, Home Depot. I'm just forgetting stuff lately. So I need something else that'll create the seal and that I can hook up a half inch tube to to go to the return. Check out the CJ Synchra Nano Pump, which I'm going to use in the Pico tank. This is it here. It's small and it's quiet. Super quiet. At first I had it on the lower setting. Now it's at the higher setting. So it's creating more flow. That's all I need in the Pico. I don't want a lot of turnover. I just want enough to create the biological and have it flow back in there. And there I'm showing you how the head pressure is about two and a half feet. And that's really all I need. All right, you can see guys in that, that there's not a lot of head pressure to the pump. Obviously it's a pump this big. It's right at what they say it is a little over two feet. I don't need a lot of turnover in that. Just keep in mind guys, turnover and flow are two different things. Turnover is the amount of water that goes up into your aquarium from the return pump and then down. So that that's your return. It's a cool little pump. You can see the size of it. This thing pops off. Not too easy, which is good. There it is. There's your impeller. It's got a controller to it, which is good in my case. I don't want much flow at all. Coming into my Pico up there, I want it to be very slow. This all right, so what I got here, guys, is I'm going to set it up to try the inline. It comes with this little gasket that gets stretched over this section yes all right that ring gasket gets stretched over this this is the part you put on there's these little teeth on it right in here and here and you hook it and we'll see if that seated all the way it didn't feel like a good seat like a good snap in let's go water test it now still not completely comfortable with the studio yet guys you know i'm still not sure where i should be and you know if i'm back here does it do i seem too far away leave something in the comments where you like to see me best back here or up close like this i don't know all right, I have to say, guys, it's super quiet, but this needed to be primed. It needed to be filled with water from the bottom through the pump, at least. And you don't gain anything from it. The head pressure is still the same. So the only thing you gain by this 
is keeping the pump out of the sump area, or at, in my case, out of the 20 gallon, but my thinking is this is so tiny. This is about two inches. What's the difference? And this priming issue, I don't want to have to deal with priming it. All right, let's take the tank down and I'm going to set it over on the studio table and we're going to fill it with water. You can look one more time. I cleaned it up pretty nice. It's not bad. The overflow box, not so clean. That's fine, you're not gonna see that. I don't care about that. So let's put it over here. All right. I can only fill it to here because I haven't found the fitting for this yet. So I'm just gonna fill it right to here, all the way across, and then we'll test fill the overflow. I have to say, during Water Change Wednesday, guys, I was complaining a little bit about the Pico with the silicone, because it is messy. But as you can see, I cleaned it up pretty nice. It's worth doing it yourself, if you want to. Ah, uh, okay, I'm already screwing up. See? All right, well, you know what we'll do. I knew that was gonna happen. What we'll do is we'll fill it one more. Let's see if I can do it this time without spilling it. And just rush it before. Uh, oh, I gotta be close. I don't want to go over. All right. All right, everything looks good. Maybe we can do a contest. My brother's a big businessman, not the one that you saw as aquarium, my other one. He's got a big company called Pipes, P-Y-P-E-S. It's aftermarket exhaust. And he's also got cold case radiators, or radiators. Things that are in the car that cools the water. Radiators, radiators. I want to show you something. I probably should have told him to cut this maybe down an inch. All I'll have to do, is come in here and I can adjust this wherever I want it to be, whatever height. And then the overflow will, will raise the water level up. I like to have it kind of high, you know, almost to the, the top, so, uh, you know, other than putting my hand in and having it overflow. So I'm gonna wait and do that at a later time. Here are the bulkheads I made and the seals. There it is, guys, the water test. He said, if you're gonna run a contest, you gotta give something away. You know, I was thinking each week I could change something in the studio, like that you might be able to find. You'd have to seek it out and find it. And if you guess, you win a prize. And what kind of prize? You know, you probably cost me. Like what would be a good prize? 25 bucks to Amazon? That's too much money for me right now. Here it is. This Pico is not an all-in-one. It's designed to have a sump, which in my case is gonna be the 20 gallon. And here's your overflow. Here is the overflow box. So the water flows over here. But if you notice down in the bottom, there's a hole in it into a fitting and down into the 20 gallon. But I got this gasket rubber. I'm gonna trace this. I'm gonna cut a hole in the bottom and make a gasket. the comedy in me today guys what's going on oh I can't force comedy the worst comedy is force comedy all right so what I have here guys I put my do-it-yourself ring on seal washer and I'm gonna put that down inside see how it's just barely fits in there tighten this up Pour a little water in here if I can do it without getting it down the hole.
I got my yellow shirt on. If you guys notice, and uh, where was I going with this? Now I remember. My wife hated this color, and I said, no way, man, it's cool. What I'm doing here with the shirts, if you haven't noticed, guys, my background was art. I was an art teacher for my whole career. Now I'm doing contract work. Yeah, I'm on my hands and knees doing masonry all summer. But I like being my own boss. Anyway, as an art teacher and artist, I like the primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue. Blue, eh, it's not so great on camera, but I love the yellow. I like that lime green I had the other day. Black, she likes me in black. But I'm going with all the bright colors. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. Usually they only come with one seal ring or one gasket, and that's good. So, because you want the, the, this side to be really tight up against the glass and then your seal on the inside. So although I made two, I've only used one here. All right, so there's one seal in there and it looks to be really holding well, no leak so far. And I know, I don't have to fill this. It's so much silicone in here. This isn't leaking in here at all. All right, guys. All right, here it is, guys. The Pico has to go to the left of the shelf because if it's centered, then the, the drain will have to go into the refugium in the 20. I don't want that. I want it to go into where the skimmer is. So what I did, is I notched out the back of this shelf and I had to put it here so it's going to go straight down into the skimmer box portion of the 20 gallon water bottle. And uh, oh, this empty space, my wife Sylvia can go right there. I got the two kids up here. I don't know if you can see them. I'll have the two kids up high. Being right next to the tank, I don't know. Well, she didn't mind. I told her I would put it there. She's fine with that. That's going to be the new addition to the studio. It's going to be a pain. I can tell already to get it out. So, I don't know, guys. This is going to be a work in progress. We'll see how it comes out. I'm still going for it. I don't like giving up on things until I absolutely can't do it. All right. 